Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming test review of HTC U12 Plus a smartphone. We will play a few of the most high-end heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting and then we will see how good our device is going to perform. And we will also have a look on the battery performance and the hitting issue if any exist on HTC U12 Plus when it comes to gaming. And as you can see right now the battery percentage is 68 and the battery temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. So let's play some of the most high end games and let's see how much variation we are going to see in the battery percentage and the device temperature as well. So let's just start it. So let's just start with Modern Combat 5. So the graphics quality is selected as the highest possible, I cannot make any changes and the FPS limit now I have selected is 60 FPS. On me. Move into cover. So you can see that the graphics quality is really good and also the volume is so loud and clear. Audio quality is really nice. So you can see that how smoothly camera angles are changing, there is no frame drop and the details are amazing. Everything is so nice and smooth here, no frame drops and the graphics quality is really good. And the audio coming out of this speaker is really loud and clear. The audio quality is great as well. So you can see that the gameplay is really nice and smooth at 60 fps. There was no frame drop or even minor lagging while playing Modern Combat 5 on HTC U12 Plus and you can see that how nice is the graphics quality. Everything is so much in detail. It's really nice. So now let's play some other games. Let's play Injustice 2. So you can see that the graphic quality is really nice on Injustice 2 as well. There was no frame drops or lagging while playing this game on Q12+. Plus. And audio quality is really nice. Let me mention it once again. No place. 
So now let's play Shadowgun Legends, it is also one of the most high and heavy graphics game running at 60fps. So if you go to the settings here you can see that I have selected 60fps and ultra high graphics for Shadowgun Legends. So we are going to play this game on the highest possible graphics setting. So let's just start it. So you can see how nice is the graphics quality here at 60 fps ultra high graphics setting everything is nice and smooth camera angles are changing so quickly but I can feel now the device is getting a bit hot while playing Shadowgun Legends. In the last two games I faced no heating issue or heating sensation in my hand while playing the previous two games but now I can feel it it's getting warmer. But the graphic quality and gameplay is really nice and great. And the audio quality is great, it's so loud and clear. So you can see how great is the graphic quality. Really nice. And the gameplay is so smooth at 60 FPS. There is no frame drop. Uh, there was a slight frame drop just now. Or lag you can say once again here. But you can see how much is the detail. Even the birds and everything. So much in detail here. And the sound quality is great as well.
as you can see everything is so nice and smooth on Shadowgun Legends there were some slight frame drops just minor ones twice or thrice but we are playing this game on ultra high graphics setting at 60 fps and considering that performance of the device is really nice So after playing Shadowgun Legend, we can say that the device is getting warm now. It's pretty hot. Let me check how much is the temperature, but it's really warm. So when we played Modern Combat 5 and uh, Injustice 2, the device was not getting warm even on high graphics 60 FPS setting. But when we played Shadowgun Legends on ultra high graphics setting at 60 FPS, the device is warm, especially this part is a bit warm. It's not so hot, but yeah, it's hot for sure. And now the battery percentage is 52. Let's have a look on the temperature so it's 46 degrees celsius right now so you can get the idea that the battery temperature is increased for sure when we started it was 30 degrees c and it was quite okay while playing the other two games but now it's at 46 degrees celsius now let's play some other game let's play cover fire which is also one of the high and heavy graphics game running at 60 fps so you can see that for even for cover fire we have selected 60 fps graphics setting and graphics quality selected as high so now let's play the game and you can feel that the audio quality is really nice so loud and clear So you can see that how nice is the graphic quality of cover fire as well. There is no frame drops or lagging. Everything is looking nice and smooth, camera angles are changing pretty quickly and the graphics quality is great here as well. So you can see how nice is the graphics quality, no frame drops or lagging while playing cover fire on 60 fps as well. And now the battery percentage is 44 so you can see that the battery temperature is going down after playing cover fire. So basically it was the issue with Shadowgun Legion, it was a very high and heavy graphics game. We were playing it on ultra high graphics setting at 60 fps and that's why the device was getting very hot. And now let's play PUBG Mobile. One of the most popular high and heavy graphics game right now so you can see that considering the hardware specs of htc u12 plus pubg mobile is selecting the high graphics quality by default so, so you can get the idea that the device is really capable of running this game 
on heavy graphics setting but if you go to the settings here and then to graphics I'm going to select the SDR or Ultra SD so I cannot select Ultra SD as you can see talking about the frame rate I'm going to select Ultra as well here and now we will see how good our U12 Plus is going to perform so here we go you can see that the graphics quality is really nice there are no frame drops but it's lagging a bit as you can see when I'm changing the camera angles but the graphics quality is really nice especially if you have a look on the cross and the surroundings it's looking really great and as I said like there is no frame drops but sometimes it's lagging a bit now it's pretty smooth So now it's really smooth. You can see how quickly the camera angles are changing in every direction. No frame props are lagging and the graphics quality is great here as well. So you can see how quickly the camera angles are changing. No frame props are lagging right now. In the beginning, there was slight lagging when the game is started but now everything is looking nice and smooth. So you can see how nice is the graphics quality camera angles are changing so smoothly right now there is no frame drops or lagging that we faced in the very beginning get in the car And the audio is really loud as well so I'm just trying to give you an idea about the gaming capability of HTC U12 plus while playing PUBG mobile I'm not a good gamer as you can get the idea right now when I'm playing this game especially this game but in terms of gaming capability everything is looking nice and smooth you can see get in the car. how smoothly camera angles are changing now how great is the graphics quality everything is looking really nice and perfect so if you are a gamer you are going to love the performance of HTC U12 plus for sure it performed brilliantly in every single game we have played there was no frame drops or lagging while playing Shadowgun Legends there was slight frame drops in the beginning and also in PUBG mobile but now it's everything is perfect nice and smooth no frame drops no lagging and the graphics quality is great here as well let's go back from here and now let's have a look on the battery status so you can see that the battery percentage moved down 45 percent and now the battery temperature is 43 degrees celsius so once again after playing PUBG mobile the device is a bit warm still but it's not so warm like the one we were feeling in Shadowgun Legends it was really warm especially the bottom of the back panel and the metal frame was really hot but after playing PUBG Mobile it's not feeling so warm in hand so we played few of the most high and heavy graphics game and the performance of HTC U12 Plus was really nice in all of them so if you are a gamer you can get the idea whether this device is going to fulfill your needs or not so after playing all of these high and heavy graphics game for nearly 40 minutes battery percentage moved from 68 to 44 now and also battery temperature 
is a bit high 41 degrees celsius it was 30 degrees celsius when we started playing the game especially when we played shadow Legend, it was really high but now it's going down and it was at normal temperature when we played cover fire injustice 2 modern combat 5 there was no hitting issue at that time so that's all for now friends thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos tips and tricks and hands-on reviews like this i'll see you guys next time in another video have a nice day